Hey guys, I thought I'd uh, take you into game to show you um, how to go through a, a ship in terms of uh, testing it. So there's a few things that are important just at the get-go uh, when you're in, in the uh, ship dealer screen. So for the pr our purposes, we're going to be testing the X-Wing um, uh, Starfighter here. So the first thing you want to look at is obviously if the, the icon is working and it's appropriate to the ship. Um, so uh, you want to make sure that the backdrop is always this kind of starry background with a red uh, nebula on the top left corner. Um, and you want to make sure it's the appropriate ship, obviously. Now this will um, work for most ships, this little 3D viewer, uh, except the larger ones like the capitals and larger uh, traders and fre uh, freighters. So not a big deal here. But just look at it, make sure everything looks okay here as well. So then there's going to be two things that you're going to be looking at. You're going to be looking at the info card here and then more of the stats page here. So basically all you're looking for is that it's um, readable and there isn't any uh, coding area within in here. Sometimes there's XML errors and it comes up and you'll see it, trust me. Yeah, um, and so you just want to make sure that this is working appropriately. So you just kind of scroll down and make sure everything looks okay. And then for this, what you're going to be doing is looking at uh, two things in particular. You're going to be looking at the primary armament, so that means the lasers, and you're going to be looking at uh, make sure that there's two proton launchers. So just make sure that everything um, that we plan to be on the ship is on the ship. So the first error that can happen, um, which could cause a crash to the desktop, is where you, you first click on the ship, you click select ship to buy it. Um, that can come up as an error right there, it can crash. So if that happens, note it and, and go through the who, what, where, why, when, and when it happened within the sequence. So uh, um, this happened before I even bought the ship, or as I bought the ship, um, you can get crashes. Um, so then after you do that, you're going to go to obviously your landing deck and you're going to undock. Now this is another place that ships can crash um, and each, each um, th those crashes right there have two different problems entirely. So anyways, you're going to make sure that it launches appropriately. So the first thing you want to do is look at is make sure that those four weapons that we talked about, so one, two, three, four, are there and then it has the two proton torpedoes. Awesome. So this is what we're looking for. Now, um, the next thing you'll be looking at is looking at the camera of the ship. Will it need to be adjusted? So this is the perfect uh, example of what we want to see all the ships to look like. So you can see at full throttle, uh, my ship is, this fighter anyways, all starter, our, all star fighters should be like this. The star fighter is perfectly in frame. Um, this is exactly what I want to see all fighters, all star fighters, so anything from a uh, fighter to patrol ship look like. Capital ships will be different and I'll cover that in a little bit. Um, so you can see that just it fits appropriately into, into the frame and that the camera is, is, uh, works well for the ship. Um, after that, what you're going to do is then you're going to look at the turret view. So what I want all turret views to have, and this is including the capital ships, is that um, it's natural turret view, so meaning that when, as soon as I click H, never goes through the model. Um, and you'll see that some of the ships might do that. So by just scrolling around like this, you can see that it's fit, it's fit appropriately. Now there is an error we know of um, already, is with the um, translucent uh, textures here. It sometimes uh, it, it uh, comes up out of the, of the model. You can see it right through it. Uh, maybe... There it is. So you can see it right there. We know the error, not a big deal. Next thing you're going to be looking at um, is the engine uh, glows here. Uh, you're going to make sure that it fits appropriately into the ship um, and that it is not positioned in, uh, oddly onto the ship. Um, the other thing you need to check is make sure the reverse view works. So you can see it fits perfectly into frame, which is exactly what we want. Um, next thing you're going to do is you can check the cockpit. So you can hit Control V, and you can go into the ship, like so, and um, you're going to make sure the cockpit is working. Now, some of the uh, ships, uh, the errors that I do know of, um, the um, the cockpit actually will attach to one of these bases if it's not appropriately coded in. Um, so if that happens, obviously you're going to comment on that. The other things you're going to look at is you're going to look at the lasers to make sure that's working. You're going to make sure that there's a flash. Um, so I, as you can see as I fire, there's a flash that goes backwards. You want to make sure that's the appropriate color. Um, other things you're going to look at, so let me just 
uh, you're looking at the um, uh, hitbox. So because you're going to be testing in teams, this makes it easy. So what you're going to do is you're literally going to collide into each other um, and make sure that um, there is collision detection. And then you're going to shoot each other with the lasers, with your lasers. Um, so make sure that's working. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to check for wireframes. So um, all ships should have wireframes now. Um, so what? Uh, so with your uh, testing partner, you're going to click switch to target, and you can see that the wireframe will come up for any of the ships now. Okay. So that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to go into show you how to test a capital ship, which is pretty much the same thing, but just a little different. Okay, guys. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to test a capital ship. Um, so you can go once again to the buying screen. You want to make sure the icon is appropriate. So in this case, I'm going to test it at the ISD. You can see the icon is appropriate. Uh, looking at the info cards, doesn't look to be any coding problems here. I'm um, looking here quickly just to see how many armaments I should have. Most of the, everything, pretty much above destroyer, has 32. So you're just going to count 8, 2, it's 10, 13, it's 23, 25, um, and 25 plus this. So, well, works roughly to. 32. Uh, <laughs> sometimes there's a little bit more or less based on what we wrote here. Anyways, um, so you're going to select the ship, like so. Um, you can see now that there's errors with the with the um, turbo, uh, very large turbo turrets. So you would report that saying that you know there's no icon here. There should be icons like this for all the turrets. Once again, a problem with the ion turrets here. So that'd be something that I would fix. Um, a screenshot of this would be great. Just hit print screen so I know exactly what you're looking at and what the problem was. You can click buy ship. If you can buy it, great. Um, and then you're going to hit undock. So you're going to be wanting to make sure um, that you can launch and launch appropriately. Um, so the first thing you're going to be looking at um, in the ship, obviously, as I was going through before, so um, you can look at make sure that there's 32 weapons here. There should always be 32, which it is perfect. Um, other things you're gonna be looking at uh, on the get-go is to make sure that the camera is uh, fitted appropriately. So in capital ships I was just talking about, it's a little bit different. Um, to fit the entire ship into the frame is difficult. Um, not only that, it, it really takes away some of the perception of the of the pilot. So um, what we try to do is try to fit the largest portion of the ships of the of the ship, uh, rather the top portion of the ship into the frame, so where the bridge is, and looking above um, above the ship. You don't need to get the engines in, so it just kind of cuts right before the engines, as you can see right there. And that's what we want for all pretty much capital ships. Uh, most of them have already been adjusted, so don't worry about it. If it um, don't worry about the capital ships too much. It's more the fighters and the traders where I'm really looking at the camera to be adjusted. So anyways, going through all the things that we need to look at. So we looked at the weapons, great. They all fire, which is wonderful. We're looking at, for the um, flashes, which is appropriate. Um, we're going to look at the engine flares, look at or the engine effects, make sure that they're appropriate onto the, onto the um, engine, uh, engine nozzles, rather, and they are. Um, the other thing we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at the cockpit, so control V. All capital ships have this invisible cockpit. Um, if this doesn't work or you, you attach to one of the bases, there's something wrong with the um, coding of that particular capital ship or trader. Um, so after, after that, you're going to be looking at the um, turret camera. So you want to make sure that its natural um, distance from the ship is not cutting off any of the models. So you can see that this is, fits just perfectly. This is exactly where you want it. So the other things we're looking at, because of the capital ships are so large, we're looking at the turrets. And particularly, we're going to be looking at the turrets for the orientation. Sometimes the orientation um, is not appropriate, and you can see that. It's pretty evident um, when you look at the, at the turrets. So you're just going to kind of go through where all the turrets are. Make sure they're all kind of moving around and following you as you go through. Um, where you're really going to see a lot of turret errors is on the flip side, um, where we didn't uh, orientate it properly. So you're just going to kind of go through, make sure that they're all flipped up properly, and they are here. Um, getting a really good close view of the model and using this turret, um, turret view scrolling function to do this. It's very easy. 
so you can see that here that everything is, is is pretty much bang on. The only error with this ship was the icons, which I'll fix before you guys test it. Um, so that is a very um, quick and dirty uh, tutorial on how I would like ships tested. I will be writing um, a, a, a work process for you guys to go through to make sure that everything's checked off in terms of it, it's been looked at and tested for each ship. And after this, I'll, I'll be showing you um, how to change the ship uh, cameras.